What is good friends, back with more smoke on Snake Draft, this time Karen Smith vs. One True Lycan, and I think this is gonna be a Scarf Landris uh, with Defog. Rocks on Heatran most likely usually see um, all out attacking Mega Mobile, um, like either FT3 attacks or 4 attacks, you don't see Rocks on Mobile. So Rocks gonna be on Tran, uh, Spadef, Bulky Bull with SD, Superpower Horn Leech, last move either Protect or Synthesis, then either Keldia or Greninja, one of the two is gonna be the Z move user, and let's say the Keldia, if it's not Z, it could be Specs. And if the Greninja is not Z, it could be either Metronome Protein or it could be Specs Battle Bond. Then on one to lighten side, the Tornadus could be the Z move user. Like he has multiple potential Z move users. The Tornadus could be Z. This could be Z. Uh, I'm thinking the trend is probably a leftover Spadev variant with Rocks, uh, maybe with Toxic as well. Then. He either doesn't have a Scarfer or his Scarfer is the Greninja. The tank is going to be Assault Vest um, to help him check Alakazam and special attackers in general, help him with Zygarde. And then his Zygarde um, is either Bandit or Z-Move. Like I said, he has so many potential Z-Move users, I cannot tell 100% which one is the Z-Move user. We have turn 1, Karen Smith should switch out here um, to scout for Scarf Greninja. So the switch here is either into Heatran or into Keldeo. Uh, because you want to scout for Ice Beam and, well, I guess Keldeo is probably the play because in, just in case this Greninja has a water move. So if One True Lightning wants to predict that, um, like if he has a coverage move to hit the Keldeo with, he can go for that or otherwise... Oh, he goes for Toxic Spikes, really cool. So I'm thinking he's most likely Scarf Toxic Spikes, actually. Uh, Scarf also helps um, One True Lightning have a mon that outspeeds Mega Zam. And yeah, now he's just gonna go into Tang Growth here. Um, Karen can either attack try to fish for the burn on the Tangrowth or Karen can pull a double. Uh, but yeah, either the Tangrowth or the Tornadus is gonna come out. Just the Tang is like safer is what I'm thinking. Um, because you don't know the Keldeo set and Tangrowth just lets you scout if it's Specs or if it's Z-Move or whatever. So I think Tangrowth is definitely the play here for one true Lightning. And yeah, like I said, Karen can either fish for burn or get some chip or pull a double here. Um, double into Tang, where would you go to? I guess Marble is a potential double getting off the Intimidate on Tang. Or, um, Landris could also be a potential double, even though I don't think it's gonna be Sky Strike, so it can't really scare the Tangrowth out. Uh, I like that he has Toxic Spikes because um, that helps his Tapu Koko to wear down um, Tapu Bulu. It also helps his Zygarde to wear down Zygarde checks like Tangrowth and Bulu. So, yeah, he does just go on Tangrowth playing it safe. Karen goes into Landris. And. Yeah, I think Karen is either gonna defog the Toxic Spike away because the Toxic Spike affects half Karen of Karen's team, or Karen is gonna U-turn. I think U-turn most likely though because you don't want to stay in here to take a HP Ice from the Tangrowth, and I don't think there's a way that this Lando is Z move. I think it's definitely Scarf, and the Z move is either on the Grant or on the Keldeo, like I said earlier already. So yeah, it's either defog or U-turn here. Most likely U-turn for Karen. Uh, Won't you lighten? Um, what does he go for here? Uh, knockoff is a potential play, he could also switch out, but like he doesn't really want to switch out here, I think. Like, unless he predicts a defog, if he predicts a defog, but even if he predicts a defog, I think he could just HP ice the land with. So I think it's either knockoff or HP ice, but he switches out into Zygarde, not 100% sure what he predicted there. Karen goes for U-turn, yeah, it was either U-turn or defog for Karen. Now, either the Greninja or the Bulu is gonna come out here most likely, um, but that's good for one true lightning because if they come out, they will get hit. Uh, by the Toxic Spike, uh, I guess you can also go into Mobile to get the Intimidate on the Zygarde and then potentially pivot back into Landris. And a Mobile could obviously also live a hit with the Intimidate. But yeah, uh, Montreal Lightning has so many potential Z move users. Like, I'm actually not sure if Coco Torn or Zygarde is the Z. Potentially, Trend could also be the Z, but I'm thinking Trend is probably Spadef, like I said. Uh, most likely, a Spadef Rocks variant. Uh, could also be Offensive Trend, though, but like Rocks. Of Paul Magma Storm Taunt, but if it's a bulky variant, then I think it's gonna be a toxic variant. We're just gonna have to see. So it goes into Greninja. Obviously, Zygarde is gonna be scared out here by a potential Ice Beam. Um, so one true lightning could go into his own Greninja. Um, if he's like he's most like he's scarf on his own Greninja, so he could go to that either Ice Beam and then U-turn out. Um, he could also go into Tangrowth here, which can eat anyone hit from Greninja, or he could also go Coco, but either Tangrowth or Gren is more likely. So let's just go Tang, there's an Ice Beam. There's a good chunk. And now, I don't think Wontrue Lightning wants to stay in, because the Tangrowth is quite good in this game, dealing with Keldeo. If it has Sludge Bomb, it can deal with Bulu. And also checking the, um, yeah, like, Landris, potentially eating a hit from Tran, uh, even though he has multiple Tran checks. But I don't think Wontrue Lightning wants to stay in here. 
I think he might want to pivot into his own Greninja or into his Tapu Koko, um, predicting another Ice Beam to come out. Uh, but if he stays in, then I think he might want to go for like Giga Drain. But yeah, what does Karen go for here? Um, Karen builds a double into Lanners actually. Um, I don't know if Karen just predicted a Giga Drain or if Karen predicted the Coco, but now Karen is free to either go for Defog or U turn. Does Defog the T Spikes away? One True Lightning did not want to stay in with the Coco and die to a Scarf Earthquake, so Karen knows that and goes for a Defog well played. Now, U One True Lightning is free to just click U turn here to get momentum. Uh, Karen is gonna go into either the Heatran or the Mawile here. U turn is always the play here. Uh, if you don't have U turn, you can pull a double. But I'm expecting this to have U-turn. Yeah, exactly. That's the U-turn. So Heatran does come out. Now we could see the um, Zygarde come out or the Greninja. Zygarde comes out. And we do see that Heatran is a leftovers variant. Um, now, either the Bula or the Lanners is the play for Karen Smith. Um, if the Zygarde has glared, it's a potential play for one True Lightning. He could also just go for 1000 arrows. And let's see, either Glare or Thousand Arrows is the play. He just goes for Thousand Arrows, gets a crit on the Lanners, brings it super low. And I think that's actually banded damage. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's banded. Now, um, I don't know if the Lanners, uh, if the Tornado has revealed Rocky Helmet yet. But if the Torn is not Rocky Helmet and Karen knows that, then U-Turn is free here. But if you fear the Torn to have Rocky Helmet, then you should double out here. Um, what covers the Zygarde staying in and what covers the Torn to come out? Um... I think Grin no, Greninja doesn't really cover that because if Zygarde stays in Greninja kind of takes a lot. Maybe Bulu can come out here which would cover the Zygarde but like... Uh, I don't think Ontru Lightning is going to stay in here because of the Intimidate. Ontru Lightning is most likely pull a switch uh, into Tangrowth or into Torn. So it goes in the Bulu there just in case the Zygarde stays in. Yeah, there's the Torn. Like Karen didn't have a play that covered everything. Karen didn't have a play that covered Zygarde staying in and that covered the Torn I feel like. So now uh, one True Lightning could uh, go for a knockoff or U-turn here. Goes for just U-turn. Karen stays, uh, switches out obviously, wanting to keep the um, Bulu healthy. And yeah, Zygarde comes back in. And now, I think if you have Iron Tail, you click it here because it hits the Bulu really hard. But he doubles in the Tran, uh, which is also a good play. Like if he had Glare or Iron Tail, he could have gone for it. But doubling the Tran is good. And now he can get the rocks up. And uh, Karen is going to switch into either Kelly or Greninja. He goes into Kelly on the rocks. And now one True Lightning can go into his Tangrowth. We still don't know uh, about the Kelio, and like we don't know anything if it's Specs or if it's Z-Move Kelio. But yeah, Tangros is the play here um, because if you go Torn and this is Specs Kelio, you will get destroyed. Because I don't, th the Torn is obviously a defog on this team, and like AV Torn isn't really a thing anymore in Ultra Sun and Moon, so it can't really come in on Kelio. Like that's only used in Aura's AV Torn, I think. Goes hard on the Torn though on a Scald and takes a lot. Okay, so I think that's Specs damage, and that might be Max HP Torn. And now one True Lightning is really free to go for a U-turn here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Specs damage. U-turn is so free here because if Karen switches out, you get momentum. If Karen stays in, you can just U-turn out into your Tangrowth, eat up a Skull with ease. The only way that doesn't work out for you is if um, you U-turn here and Kelly stays in and Tangrowth gets burned. But otherwise, you're completely fine. But yeah, U-turn's on a trend and uh, goes back into Zygarde. Now we will see if he um, wants to double back into Heatran predicting the Bulu or if he has a coverage move like Glare or like Glare to cripple the Bulu or like Iron Tail to blow the Bulu away. That's what he should go for in my opinion, but he does just Thousand Arrows. Um, not really the biggest fan of that play, but I guess in case the Heatran has Protect, um, Thousand Arrows was the play to scout. In case Karen had Protect on Tren to scout what Zygarde wants to lock into, I'm pretty sure it's this Bandit Zygarde. So now um, the Torn or the Tang is going to come out here. Um, so Karen is just going to go for Holy I don't know why he Thousand Arrows again. Um, maybe he tried to predict Karen to make a double switch, but I'm honestly not the biggest fan of that play, Thousand Everything again. But yeah, now he has to switch out, he should realize that this doesn't get him anywhere. Wait, what double did he predict? Um, maybe he predicted a double into Heatran, which covered, which would have covered the Tangles and the Torn. But Karen didn't have to pull a double in my opinion. But yeah, now... Um, just U-turns here into his uh, Zygarde, which is a bit risky, I guess. He could have Toxic on this trend. Let's just, just, just get up the rocks, yeah. And now, um, yeah, he should really click a coverage move that he has. I mean, I guess if Karen doesn't want to risk anything, the Lanos is really low and might actually die to rocks. I don't remember how low it is. If Lano dies to rocks, you can also sack the Lando here if you're Karen. But otherwise, um, if you don't fear anything, you can also go back into Bulu. But yeah, that's just sack of the land. It was at 6%, that's dice to rocks, and now Bulu can come out. Uh, and Karen saw that the Zygarde locked into Arrows. Goes uh, Greninja, which is obviously also a fine play, can scatter out with the Ice Beam. And one True Lightning might have to go to his own Greninja here, because with rocks up, I don't know if the Tangrowth can lift two Ice Beams. And even if Tangrowth can lift two Ice Beams with rocks up, um, the Tangrowth is important, I think, because now that rocks are on one True Lightning's side, the Torn cannot switch into the Kelly well anymore. 
Um, so you want the Tangros to pivot into the Specs Kaleo. And I'm thinking 100% at this point that the Greninja is Z-move on current side, because the Kaleo was confirmed Specs, the Heatron was left over, so there's the Ice Beam. The Lanos is probably Scarfed, and the... Oh my god, there's a Freeze. The Mobile is Mega, and the Budo is left over, so this is Z-move Greninja. But he does hard saw out and goes for Scarf, U-turn, and knocks out Karen's Greninja, and... Karen obviously um, didn't expect Montreal Lightning to saw out the first turn, uh, but that, yeah, that was... <laughs> Um, the safe play would have been to go to, like, um, I guess Heatran or maybe Kelly or Bulu. But yeah, I want to like. Mm, what does he go to here? Let me think. Um, if he goes Zygarde, that lets the Bulu in, which wouldn't be too, too bad. No. Hmm. Uh, he doesn't want to go Heatran, I don't think. Yeah, he goes Zygarde, exactly. Yeah, but Bulin is not too bad for him because he does have a Tang and he does have a Torn in the back. Even though Torn um, actually doesn't beat Bulu that well because rocks are up. Um, so Kelly comes out and Kelly is just gonna click Skull or Secret Sword. I feel like Skull is like more likely to come out because if Zygarde stays in, Skull has a chance to burn the Zygarde. And if Tangus comes out, it can also get burned, so it's like the more likely play. He goes for Pump instead um, because I would have done more, I guess, to Zygarde. I don't think it would have... I don't know how healthy Zygarde was. Let me call it there real quick. But yeah, now Kelly's obviously scared out here. Um, I would personally go for Earthquake here if I'm one true lightning, just because I don't want to let the Marwell or the Heatran in for free. But yeah, let me pull up a call that's obviously Specs Kelly. Um, yeah, you either Earthquake here or you pull a double that covers the um, Marwell and the Heatran, which would be a double into Zygarde. Um, yeah, either double into Zygarde or Earthquake is the play. Because either Tren or Marwell is going to come out. Yeah, exactly. Earthquake catches the Marwell. And now. Um, yeah, Heatran is like really obvious here. So if Karen Smith has like Thunder Punch or Knock Off or Focus Punch, I would definitely go for that. Um, Montreal Lightning, there's no way he's staying in and letting his Tangros get blown out the window. Uh, Play Rough will obviously kill the Tangros from this range. So he is gonna go Heatran here, I'm like really sure. So if you have Knock Off, Thunder Punch or like Focus Punch, anything like that, I would definitely click it here and blow the Heatran away. Uh, obviously Knock Off and T-Punch would not do that much, like Heatran can live that, but Focus Punch would destroy Heatran, but it would still be better than play roughing into Heatran, like if you have T-Punch or Knockoff, it would still do a decent chunk and chip down the Heatran, and yet yeah, this Tangros is too important for one true lightning, if it has Slush Bomb it can deal with the Bulu, and it can also pivot into the um, Kaldeo, if Zygarde and Greninja get Lotus can also live a Magma Storm from Heatran potentially, um, if he keeps the Tangros healthy, which shouldn't be too hard because it has Regenerator, but yeah, I'm gonna Kalk, um, Oh, actually, Specs Kaldeo Pump would have done so much. Good God, Zygarde. So maybe Specs, maybe Pump was the play. Pump does 78 to 92 from Kaldeo to Zygarde. So whenever Zygarde comes out again, um, we'll see if it was in range to die from that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Heatran is the play here. If Karen does not have a coverage move that hits the Heatran, um, another potential play here is double back into Kaldeo, I guess. Um, at the moment, it seems like Wontra Lightning is in a good position, but I don't think the game is over just yet. Um, like, okay, just sex off the Greninja, I guess, okay, to a knockoff, and yeah, that knockoff was the play because, um, it would have hit Heatran harder. Like, I didn't know what kind of coverage move, like, Karen had, but, like, either T-Punch, knockoff, Focus Punch, one of those three was the play. So now Coco can come out, scare this out, and Volt Switch or U-Turn can be the play here. Um, we now we know, well, we know that either the Coco or the Torn is Z-move. Actually, I'm thinking that Coco is Z-move at this point. Goes for T-Bolt, okay. Yeah, yeah, the T-Bolt confirms that he's Z-move. Um, he didn't have Volt Switch or U-turn, otherwise he should have clicked it right there. And then just goes into either Tang or Torn, goes into Torn. Horn each comes out, gets some health back. Um, now we see if it's Helmet, it is Helmet. And that pretty much confirms that Coco has to be Z. Like, I already knew it, because Greninja was Scarf, Zagat is Bandit. And I thought that the Torn was Helmet because of the damage from Kaldeo, from Specs Kaldeo Scald. That had to be max HP. Now he just U-turns again here, most likely, on the incoming Tran, exactly. And uh, if the Bulu stayed in, he would have probably gone into either the Tang or the Tran. And I guess he didn't want to go hard into Tran on the Mawile, because um, he didn't want the Tran to get chipped, one to lighten. But yeah, it, like, Karen was completely free to knock off a T-Punch or whatever Karen had, like I said, because uh, other than Heatran, Lycan ha did not, not have a switch in for the Mawile at all. And now Karen can go on the Bulu here. Like, if Wontro Lightning has any coverage to hit the Bulu, like either Iron Tail or Galea, he should definitely click that. Because Karen is not going to throw the Heatran out. Karen has to go Bulu here, I think. So you either go for, like, Iron Tail or Galea if you have that, or you pull a double switch. You don't want to, like, give momentum away too much. Just arrows, okay. I don't like that play at all. Because uh, now Karen can just Horn Leech again. Like, this Bulu doesn't even take any damage from rocks because. 
leftovers plus gas to terrain heal it back every time. But yeah, like I said, um, now we know that the Zy we know that the Zygarde is bandit. Uh, Greninja was Scarf, Tang is AV, Torn is Helmet, um, was confirmed already, but like I said, I already knew it was probably Helmet because of the damage from Specs Kelly on the Torn earlier. So Coco has to be Z, also confirmed because um, Coco didn't click Volt Switch, which means it's probably t bolt Roost, um, and then it could be either HPS or Dazzling Gleam, and then the last move could be, like it's either two at three attacks Coco or it's Call Mind Coco with Roost, I'm not exactly sure yet. Arrows again, if Karen is just gonna, like, holy shit, I don't like that play at all, like, what? No, dude, that's not the play. And yeah, this eventually switch out into Torn or Tang goes into Torn. Horn Leech, um, obviously the helmet will hurt Karen a little bit, but not too much, because um, Leftovers comes in and now Karen can just click Protect, get extra Leftovers Recovery. This Bulu is so, like, I like, I love the set a lot, like, it never dies <laughs> in certain scenarios. And now um, Karen obviously gonna switch out in the heat turn here. No reason to risk the Bulu going down, because if Bulu goes down, um, Coco kind of just wins, so Bulu has to be kept around for Karen Smith. I think it's at 42 or 41 after Rocks. So, um, Marvel, oh, okay, Marvel or Heatran, one of the two was gonna come out and one to lightning U-turns. Yeah, so Marvel could have taken a Hurricane, but I don't think it could have taken two Hurricanes. But, like, um, no one hits two Hurricanes in a row anyway. But, yeah, now Coco comes out, and, yeah, one to lightning should pull a double here. Or, I guess, actually, no, 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 never mind. The Bulu is actually really low, so I don't think Karen... Karen might actually not want to have to switch into Bulu. Like, it might not be able to switch into is what I'm trying to say. Because if this is... Like, Z Gigavolt wouldn't do much, but if it's Z Dazzling Gleam, that um, would probably bring the Bulu um, super low after rocks, uh, which would bring it in range to die from HPIs or Dazzling Gleam the turn after. Um, well, so, Karen, yeah, this is actually a tough turn for Karen here. There's no reason to double. I said he could double, but he doesn't have to. I forgot that the Bulu was already that low. So, goes in the heater and they're pot potentially breaking a HPIs or a Z Fairy um, Z move, a Z Ferium, but actually goes for T and does a lot. And, and I think. Karen is now gonna go into Bulu. Um, I think the reason why Karen went teacher in there is to scout for HPS or Z doesn't gleam. And now goes into Bulu just breaking another T bolt. And yeah, now Bulu has to go for protect here because otherwise I think it's potentially in range to die from Z move as it goes for protect. And there's the Z move. Is it Dazzle? Yeah, 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 it's Z Dazzle. And it actually does absolutely nothing through the protect. And now Karen can go for Hornish and get some health back. And even if Torn comes back. Um, now the Grass Terrain is active, like the Helmet Damage Recall doesn't even matter too much. Torn gets really low thanks to the rocks. Karen is free to click Protect here and get more health back with the Bulu, bringing Bulu back to like 58% um, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, this Bulu, <laughs> is this Bulu really gonna be able to pull through for Karen? Uh, Lightning is always clicking U-turn, I wonder if he's eventually gonna click Hurricane, but I think he's just U-turning always predicting the Marvel Slash uh, Heatran to come out, more so the Heatran. Uh, even though Marvel came out already once. Now either Zygarde or Coco is gonna come out. But I really don't like that he always clicked 1000 arrows with his Zygarde early on the game. Like, he should have either clicked like Glare or Iron Tail. Because Karen, I guess he doesn't have any of those moves. But if he had them, he should have clicked them or he should have doubled into Heatran more often. I feel like Lycan was in a really good position at one point, but he kind of played passive. And now Karen is kind of is back in the game. Like, I don't get this. So, um, I don't know if. Bulu is healthy enough to switch into actually with rocks up. I know that leftovers and guys here and help him take rocks easier, like cancel out the rocks damage. Um, I think it was at 52, which means um, I think Bandit, Bandit Arrows um, does like 25 to 30 ish from Zygarde, if I'm not mistaken. So it might be actually a roll to tweet KO. No, no, it's actually not a roll because, yeah, yeah. it's not a roll because he gets Grassy Terrain back, leftovers back, and now it's, now it's a roll, yes, but he has Protect and he can just click that. And there's no reason not to click Protect here, like, uh, Ron Trulaken should know that the Protect is coming out here, and he should switch into either Heatran or Tornadoes here, because the Protect is so obvious. Um, you have no reason to stay in and Thousand Arrows again, because if he Protects here, then you're forced out the next turn, because the next Thousand Arrows doesn't kill you, it uh, doesn't kill the... Why did you stay in? Did you have Iron Tail? No. What the fuck, dude? That was not the play, because now it's out of range because of the Protect, I guess he predicted Karen to not protect, but Karen had no reason not to go for that, and their Hornleech was always the play there, just to get more health back, and rocks are already up, so protect is free here, there's not like the trend can do anything, I don't think it's a sub-trend, so like protect is always the play here for Karen, and you see how healthy this Bulu is getting, this Bulu was almost dead, and yeah, like, I don't know why he stayed in with the Zyga to Southern Arrows again when the protect was like, 
Karen was forced to click protect in my opinion. Um, I, I don't know if he tried to make a read there or if he just didn't understand that it was a misplay. Maybe he tried to make a read. But yeah, now that the uh, um, Bulu is back healthy, obviously Karen switches out on the trend by predicting a Madness Storm. And now I think Karen is going to pivot into Kelly, anticipating the off power slash and predicting the Zygarde to come out. And yeah, Lycan goes into the Zygarde. Kelly covered the off power and it covered the Zygarde. Um, Lycan didn't want to stay in there, risk a potential speed tie. Now we could see. Um, yeah, goes for a secret throw there. Truth kills the Tangrowth, so Lightning is forced to go into Coco um, because he knows the Kelly has specs um, and Coco does resist Secret Sword. Now, Coco um, can roost here, but he might actually want to pull a double. The thing is, he kind of has to roost because the Kelly is getting super scary now that everything is getting chipped down on one to Lightning's side. And now the Bulu is back in and back healthy and is free to click Horn Leech. Uh, superpowers there in case Heatron wants to come out. Also, completely fine play for Karen. And yeah, someone just got in my room, which interrupted me and was really annoying because now I kind of lost my thought train of thought, thought process. But yeah, Morwell um, could live Earthquake because Grass Tyrion was up, so good play from Karen Smith there. Um, Lightning doubles into Torn and he's just gonna... Like, Hurricane doesn't kill here. So, like, unless he fishes for Confusion, he doesn't really have a play here. Like, I guess he can U-turn. I don't remember how healthy his Heatran is. But if his Heatran is healthy, I guess he's gonna U-turn into his Heatran. And uh, I think we're going to see a knockoff here from the Morwell. Exactly, because we have already seen knockoff earlier on the Greninja, so I know that's the coverage move that Karen has. And yeah, Hedron was healthy, so I was able to take that. And now Earth Power is probably the play for one true Lighten. Uh, so Karen's play here is either sack something, like either the Trend or the Morwell, or it's go hard into Kelio. I think hard Kelio might be fine. I'm um, not sure though, because Kelio kind of wins this game. But yeah, with Grassy Terrain up, that cancels out the Rock, so I guess this is a fine play, yeah. So now, I think you just spam... Actually, water move is the play here, I think. But basically, one true lightning kind of had to roost with his Coco earlier because this spec scale you is becoming a huge problem for his team because his Torn is low and Rocks are up, which means Region is not healing much. His tank is quite low from the spec secret sword from earlier, and Rocks are also helping um, Karen keep the tank kind of low. And yeah, the uh, the only secret sword resist, uh, only resist he has to the fighting move outside of Torn is the Coco. That's why he had to roost, which let Karen get back into Bulu earlier and let. The Bulu um, get more healthy with leftovers and grass terrain, which is really bad for one true lightning. But yeah, I feel like he had, there were like two or three turns at least where he played too safe, where he clicked thousand arrows um, with Zygarde when Bulu was super obvious, or even when Bulu was even in on Zygarde already. On that, like he should have either, like I said, tried to click a coverage move if he had any, either Iron Tail or Glare, or he should have um, doubled out a little bit more often to pressure the Bulu. I feel like he just let the Bulu do its thing for free, kind of. Mm, yeah. But yeah, if you're watching this, I guess like, you can leave a comment. I don't want to like attack you too much. I just feel like there were like two or three turns where he could have played a bit more aggressive to pressure the Bulu. And this move might... This is like looking bad for him now because Kelly just clicks um, whatever buttons now. Secret Sword kills, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like, he didn't have a good switch in. Like, even... And like, Secret Sword was free for Karen. Like, it didn't really matter what Karen clicked there. I don't think it mattered. Secret Sword was better, I guess, because it hit the tank harder. Because um, you don't want the tank to come in and take two skulls potentially. I don't remember how healthy tank is, but I'm pretty sure it would be able to take two skulls. But Secret Sword, if it killed Torn, was a fine play. Because if Coco comes out, Coco is forced to roost anyway on Secret Sword. And then you still get a free type of Bulu on that anyway. So, like, that, yeah, Secret Sword was a fine play for Karen. And now there's a CM. But this doesn't matter because Karen can either Horn Leech or if Karen um, knows the Kalk. I guess you can just go Kalk here. Um, you, you go Kalk here, and then if you see your lift to Dazzling Gleams, you can also go for SD into. Um, either Horn Leech, yeah, or Superpower, depending on if you want to predict the switch. You probably don't want to predict around with this too much, so you either go for SD or you go for Horn Leech here. Yeah, it goes for Horn Leech. Like, there's no way you were, Karen was going to click Superpower that turn with a plus to Coco in Karen's face. So Hedron comes in, um, obviously you switch out here. And yeah, Kelly is getting quite low, so I actually don't think you go hard Kelly here, do you? Dude, but the next time Kelly comes in, it gets a kill. Okay, do you, you go hard Kelly again, okay. Dodges a Magma Storm that would not have killed, I don't think. And yeah, now you just click. Um, yeah, that's obviously really annoying. Now you just click Secret Sword. Like, it's the same scenario as earlier. Exactly. And Tangrus does get Tweet killed. Um, he goes to Tangrus to scout what the Kelly locks into. Now he has to go Coco. Karen is super free to just click Secret Sword again because the Coco gets chipped from rocks and this still does like 40 ish. 48, wow. So, forced to roost here, free as Bulu. And then this Bulu, like, went down from like 17% to full. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> And now we could actually see um, potential superpower here, but it's also kind of risky because of if the if the um, Coco sets up and the superpower into the Coco, that could get bad for Karen. So SD was also fine, I guess. 
Um, homage or superpower would have. No, I, I think he would have either homage or superpower. I didn't think he would SD, but I understand somewhat. But yeah, Caldeo, since it dodged the Magma Storm earlier, was able to switch into another Magma Storm and Scald actually two hit KOs. Um, with that burn, I would have two hit killed, or without the burn, I actually would not have two hit killed, yeah. So without that burn, it would have been a roll, probably in Lightning Favor, or it would not have two hit killed. So a um, little bit of. Little bit of hacks in Karen's favor, but not really, because also the Landers got crit by the Zygarde early on in the game. So he doubles into Heatran predicting the Budo to come out, which um, now he starts to finally make some aggressive plays that he should have. Um, like he was kind of ahead early on in the game, but then he just kept playing to save. And yeah, he makes a good read there, predicting Karen to go into Heatran. But since the Kelly was low, obviously Karen couldn't go hard into it anymore. And just sacked off the Heatran, and now Kelly just gets another kill pretty much. You just click Water Move, since the Tangros is dead. Uh, One True Lightning does not have a resist left for this Kelio. Um So Scald just claims. I don't think there's a reason to risk missing Hydro Pump. I think you just click Scald. Pretty sure Zygarde... Um, Coco will die. Heatran will die. And Zygarde will barely live it. And Zygarde will be forced to go for E-Speed, I guess, if it comes out on Scald. Uh, but I th yeah, Zygarde does come out. Actually, Zygarde is lower than I thought it would. I'm pretty sure it dies from here. For some reason, I thought the Zygarde was at 70. But it's at only at 49 after Rock, so it obviously dies to spec Scald. Now, Coco comes out, which is a free bulo for Karen. That wasn't the agent predicting that, but it doesn't even matter. Like, that does not matter at all. Um, because Karen can just sack the Mawile here. At this point, Karen has that extra sack in Mawile. Uh, Mora can get sacked off here to Magma Storm or Earth Power, and after that, Kelly just comes in and clicks Scald and claims a kill. Um, if Tren gets sacked, Bulu wins. If Coco gets sacked, Kelly just wins on its own. So yeah, there's no way for one to lightning to win at this point. Um, damn, this Bulu was actually able to do it. So now um, Kelly can get sacked off here to T-Bolt or whatever, or Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to go hard into the Bulu. I think you just attack with the Kelly. You sack it off to whatever move Lightning clicks here. Because uh, you don't want to let Lightning go for Command or anything like that. You just attack with the Kelio here. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you went for Command, I think Bulu still beats it. But just to be sure, you stay in with Kelio. Now you go Bulu and you click Horn Leech. Um, I think if you live a plus, like if you live two Dazzling Gleams, you can also SD into Horn Leech. But I think you just hard Horn Leech and you just win right here. And that was a fun game to watch. And yeah. Let me know what you guys thought, um, how Lightning could have played this different. Like, I thought, I think, there were like two or three turns at least where he played too safe because he kind of had the upper hand, but he gave it away. And I'm really not sure if it's like I didn't have a coverage move to hit the blue or if he just... I don't know. If he had a coverage move, he should have clicked or he should have doubled, like I said. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Fun match to watch. And yeah, I think I lost my thought process one because someone interrupted me, but oh, it was a cool narration. And I'll see you guys next time. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. And peace out, friends. And congrats, Karen, for the win. Bob, goodbye, friends.